Bitchy. That's Bitchy Baby. My other kitty. We're going to do the fairies today. Oop. Give some love. Give a little shine. Say hello. Peach baby. Hello there. It's me. And um, we're going to work with the fairies today. And we're calling it um, Let's Play. Let's flirt and let's laugh and have fun. Okay? That's kind of the energy we're searching for today with the fairies. And we are working with the major arcana of the Sacred Circle Tarot by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason today. So those are strong energy cards. So, but the theme mainly is that fairy fun theme get outside, enjoy, show joy, throw that stardust, fairy dust around, you know, people? Okay, so let's get going here. I've also brought out the pentacles because the fairies, earth theme, also uh, the material side of, you know, finances and things. So we'll see how the cards come out in this nine card spread with the three that were closing for the past, present, and future. Um, so, and then I also brought out um, um, the um, bonus card of the magical messages of the fairies, and then another one, uh, double whammy, the fairy power today with the gentle wisdom of the fairy realms, okay? All righty, and, um, okay, I think we're ready. All right, I'm gonna pull some cards and um, I think this is a lovely, I really like my, uh, this new nine card spread for me because we get to, you know, whoever watches these videos, take a little moment to diffuse and, um, ground and deep breathe, hold for nine seconds. And, uh, and sigh a nice smile. Okay, again, let's deep breathe. Inhale, exhale. Okay, think fairy wisdom. We're calling in the fairies now, the earth elementals. Okay. All right. Okay, first card. The shaman. <laughs> I love the shaman. And this is the hermit, which I think now we've pulled out three times. Again, we're, you know, have more odds to do that in these shorter readings, and I'm pulling out, you know, 22 cards of the major arcana, so, and picking out five, so the chances are higher, but again, you know, this is a wonderful card to start us on this next cycle that we're going, shift, cycle, metamorphosis, transformation, transmutation, whatever you want to call it towards the light. It's about going towards the light, the shaman style. See, the shaman is one who, if you know about Native American wisdom also, they have what they call the vision quest, and they go uh, sort of like Jesus, you know, into the desert for 40 days or 40 hours or whatever it is. It's still a tribute to Mother Earth and um, learning her wisdom and her nature. And, 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 and some of it you keep hidden and some of it you share. And this is what we're all about. So 
we're sharing this wisdom. So let's move, keep moving here, people, in the present. We're all going to become shamans here, priestesses, king of earth, fabulous. All right, the energy of the shaman, the male, the king of earth, fabulous. And here we go, generous, professional, responsible, practical, a successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. The Midas touch. Well, look how handsome he is with his transparent wings here. And he's, you know, holding. I'm, I, I'm not sure what he's holding. I want to say a cup, but no, it doesn't make sense. It looks like a disc. I think it is a disc of, of, of the Queen of Pentacles, actually. Rainbow. All right, people. This can be all of us. We just got to tap the elemental energies, okay? Energies, frequencies, vibration. If sunsets turn you on, then watch those sunsets. If watching butterflies fly through, make a butterfly garden. You know, work on it, people. Nine of Earth, fabulous card. Okay. And um, again, we are working with the Earth element and the fairies are on board. But so far, this is wonderful. I'll read the card. Enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. Well, here we go. If you know, if we're doing these transformations, whether it's a spiritual process or just starting to follow your life dream of, you know, I want to do this because it's going to offer me opportunities where I help my family, help my friends, help people around the globe, and then, you know. I, I can make it happen. So consider those options, people. You know, when you follow your dreams, uh, look at uh, the one who, um, oh my goodness, she she wrote the, the Hobbit movie. Oh, I can't even think right now. But anyway, you know who I'm talking about. It'll come to me. My mind's not thinking. Nine of Earth. Okay, now we're in the present time. I follow her quotes, J.R.R., right? No, because I keep saying Tolkien in my mind. I'm not, that's not right. But okay, got to get off the tangents here. Okay, present time, night of earth, loyal, dedicated, honorable, kind. Time to buckle down and get things done with an exclamation point. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. Well, he looks fabulous. Young, handsome, a knight. Lancelot in the house. Woo-hee! Gotta love that, because we're in the sacred circle. The Avalon, the Celtic pagan journey. Oh, yay, yay. We got King Arthur over there, too. The wheel. Okay, well, here we go. The shaman is the past, and this present card means a lot. We'll close it at the end when we read the three, but... You know the wheel, my friends, right? It's all very positive. You know, it's about opportunities and success and generosity and harmony. And ooh, yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. It's happiness. Um, you know, just love is the law. That's, you know, it's just love is the law. And you can see it, it, it has all... The representations, the swords, the cups, the arrows, the pentacles, discs, fire. But, you know, what goes around comes around. So, you know, what you put up is what you get, people. And wherever you're at right now, consider that because this is the present card. But the wheel goes around. So if you're down in the dumps, it's going to come back up. If you're getting high flying like I'm all badass and cute, well, uh, you know, look in the mirror again because, uh, you know, the universe does it to you. You don't do it to the universe. Okay. Seven of Earth. Oh. Oh, yeah. Those Here are these discs with the Queen of Pentacles in it. Okay. Yes. Seven of Earth. It's a big tree. You know, the tree of life sort of thing, but seeds well planted. A temporary pause in action. Unnecessary worry. All right. Present line up here. Don't be worrying about if you have something in your gut, in your soul, in your heart, in your mind. If you wake up thinking about something and you're saying one day, one day, well, then today's the day that you start manifesting, okay? And, and 
And when the universe knows that it's right for you, you will get your dreams. Now, if you want to say things and hurt people or harm, well, then that's when that stuff will come back to you because if the universe is, knows you're not holding up the right flag, um, they'll make sure you get what you give. Future Ten of Earth. Ah. Uh. This is the completion of the family values and it's it's just the transcendence of you can see it's you know they're playing with the children the fairies and the beautiful foliage and the sky is oh I, I want to live like this people in my mind and my heart and soul a very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. There you go. That's why we're playing with the fairies today, okay? Just for that. Because, I mean, we all live on this planet Earth, and this is the realm of the fae, so don't tap into their energy if you haven't yet, people. I mean, I'm, I believe many believe in angels, and I know a lot see fairies, but if you, don't have, if you haven't done that, you know, get it. And uh, talk to the unis and the dragons, too. Yeah, the dragons. Oh, look what I pull out. The empress. Goddess energy. Venus is in the house for a long time. This is the queen of the fae. The, the mistress. The empress. Number three. Oh my goodness, and she is ruled by the planet Venus. Okay, how do you spell Venus? V-E-N-U-S is in the house. Pay attention to the future videos that we're going to drop from here on out. All about that Mayan calendar, Venus in the house. It's good energy, people. Get on board. The Druid, the Hermit. I mean, not the hermit, uh, the hierophant, the hierophant. So now the hierophant and the hermit have come out, is it two or three times, people? I, I like to look in the future, but I can't remember what I did yesterday, okay? So, but anyway, the druid is in the house. Fabulous. And this one's ruled by the Taurus, the bull. So we have Miss Venus coming, and now we have the energy of the bull, but again, the balance, this is what we've shared too, all these conversations together. Find that balance, and it's not gender related. It's just, you know, some women, you know, have a pair of balls and some men don't, you know what I mean? But you can find harmony and balance in all that. It's like that chariot ride, you know? It's two different, you know, energies going opposite, but if you know how to harness, and that's why I'm sharing with you guys, harness Luna's energy, it's it's just, you know, just it, believe, believe. Okay, let's keep on going. So now, okay, to close it, we're, and then we're gonna sh sh um, do the magical messages. I don't even know what time I'm at. I can't see right here, but. Okay, so let's pick one more here, but we have the shaman. And I'm just going to show these fabulous cards again because I love Anna Franklin. Her first deck was the Fairy Ring, and I just fell in love with her. I don't even know if she has another one. I'm going to have to show it up. Okay, the wheel's turning, people. You either get on the ride or off it, okay? You know, life is not a switch, on and off. You, you got to go with the flow, okay? And then here we go. The Hierophant is speaking again. He has words of wisdom, an inner voice. You might not believe in all of it, you know, like the Pope in Italy, I don't know if I believe in all of it, but it's inner wisdom, and you have to give respect. Okay, and the fame message from the magical messages will be healing, healed, healer. Well, this is lovely, people. This is what we've been talking about. Heal yourselves, people. You can heal yourselves. Electromagnetic energy, the vibrations, frequencies, shut the technology off or, or turn on some music that is soothing or whatever, you know, just.
but really even even no tone sometimes because that's when you hear the music in your mind in your head in your brain in your imagination or from your soul so sometimes it's best to have no noise so if you know if you are a musician that's when you tone in i don't know you know who you are and what, how you d receive the codes and it's all about codes too people we got to get on board with the codes and we'll talk about that um with the Mayan stuff, everything has a code, okay? Just like A, B, C's equals um, turn into words, phrases, sentences, books, and novels. Codes are very important. Numbers, codes, symbols, symbols. Okay, and then the last card will be from the Gentle Wisdom. And this is pretty. I, I, I know I did a video or two where I took them out there on the beach. Okay, and we'll close down, but I think this was a very interesting reading. I'll have to rewind it and play it again for myself. Okay, my friends, peace. Without peace, my babies, right? And the only way to find peace is to find that inner peace first, and that's how you share the shine love with peace. Alrighty, good day, good night. See you at that new moon coming. It's gonna be fabulous.